Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me here today as we gather here to pray. Today is Sunday the 30th of June, and today we celebrate St. Peter and St. Paul the Apostles. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. On behalf of the Catholic prayer community here, we welcome you. And if you have any Pacific prayer intentions, please put them in the box below and we can all pray with you and pray for you together. So, without further ado, let us prepare to pray the Chapel of Divine Mercy. You know, I've been praying the Chapel of Divine Mercy every day now for the last several years. How it began for me was, I'd not been a Catholic that long and... I felt God starting to reveal to me that there was things in my life that I'd not quite reconciled with, that had held hunger in my heart, and to a degree it was it was really consuming me. I was angry with someone, I felt pain, I felt hurt by what had happened. I took it to confession, but afterwards I still I still struggled with it, I was still angry about what had happened. And I just couldn't let it go. And maybe you can identify with this. Maybe you've struggled with this also. Maybe you're struggling with it now. Where you just can't bring yourself to look past the hurt. Look past the anger. Anyway, eventually it was suggested to me that I prayed the Chapel of Divine Mercy for this person. And for this situation. And... When it was suggested, I was like, really? I can't believe you're suggesting such a thing to me. Well, I walked away and I, I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it some more. And um, it did take me a little time, but I did start to pray the Chapel of Divine Mercy every day. And I'm not going to lie, it was difficult. I felt hurt. Why should I have to sacrifice when this person doesn't care? But over time I started by praying the Chapel of Divine Mercy every day for them. I started to see the situation different. I started to see the person different. God gave me the grace to see the situation differently and see that person differently. He showed me it wasn't all them, but I played my part. That allowed me to let go, allowed me to forgive. And by doing so, I truly, truly felt God's forgiveness. I felt close in my relationship with him. Sometimes there's situations that can hurt. We can feel angry. But we need to recognize where that takes us and acknowledge where that takes us. And acknowledge, this is me without you, Jesus. And ask for his forgiveness. And ask him to give us the grace to let go of our hurt. Let go of our pride. Let go of our anger. And help us to forgive no matter what pain we feel inside. And by doing so, we can truly be reconciled with him. It worked for me, and it can work for you also. I just thought I'd share that today before we begin. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we cannot shake the anger and the hurt and the pain we feel at times. It is overwhelming and all-consuming, subtle and deceptive, but it is our sin lurking within us, drawing us from you, keeping us from true repentance. Lord, we do repent, and we beg you to humble us, so that we may love you with our whole being. Jesus, we trust in you. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up to the whole world. O fount of life and fathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, 
which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, we trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. We believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of the heavens and the earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in a mercy is endless and a treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, everybody, and thank you for joining me here today. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. And until tomorrow, may God bless you. God bless your families and take care.